Hypo-squatting is a form of social engineering most commonly associated with phishing. This is where an attacker is going to register a domain name that looks very similar to an actual domain. So for example, you could register dogfood.com, said dogfood.com. You can have a typo, dofgood or dogfood or dogfood.com. And the idea here is that you're tricking somebody to click on that website or to navigate to that website, maybe through a link, uh, to get them to either download a malicious file, you can have a drive-by download a malicious file on that website, or you can use this with other domains, like email domains, uh, to trick somebody through a phishing campaign. So you might send a phishing email to somebody and have a link within the email, you know, go to our website to learn more or whatever, and you click on that link and the, the user, when they click on the link, they would be confused thinking they're going to actually dogfood.com, but they're going to one of these uh, websites instead. That's the actual URL. Now remember that URL can be spoofed in the email. You can write in the email that you're going to be navigating to dogfood.com, but when you actually get there, if you were to look at the navigation bar of the website, you'd see that you're actually somewhere else. Oftentimes these are used to spoof email domains and they'll use not only misspellings but also special characters and other types of characters to make the domain look legitimate. So we could see you know, zeros used instead of O's, capital or lowercase O's. Those are very common. Sometimes I's look very similar to the number one or an L depending on the character set. So you could have some you know, an email from john.smith at uh, company.com, legitimate company, or whatever type of company we could say Amazon, Amazon with the zero would be, or the O in Amazon could be a zero. And if an attacker is highly sophisticated, if it's a spear phishing attack targeting a specific person or a specific company, you can try and spoof an address that the target is familiar with, that, that person or that company is familiar with dealing with. So you can use some of these techniques, change out special characters or adjust the spin or misspell the company in some minor way that's designed to be not noticed by the target. That's typo squatting. In a nutshell, remember it could be used not only to spoof URLs, but also domains for emails. And it's unfortunately, fairly common. Uh, less sophisticated attacks will be much easier to pick up than uh, a more sophisticated spear phishing type attack. So you, you often see these in phishing campaigns the, that just try and take advantage of the fact they're sending out thousands and thousands of emails every day. But if it's used in a spear phishing attack, it could be very much more effective, okay? Because you'd, you'd be used to, say your company is used to working with a certain accounting firm and you spoof the domain of that specific accounting firm, you might not look twice at that email, especially if they're making the email and the letterhead, the, they're combining this with pretending um, or prepending or any of these concepts, these attack concepts like familiarity.